This is the tip tool holder I bought at the car boot sale this morning. I've already modified it, I took the top off so it'll fit into the, the tool post of the Harrison lathe. I'll show you some video of modifying that later on. The good thing about this tool is I have got a full pack of new tips for it. That's basically what they call a right hand knife tool. Also brought some, a couple of packets of roll bolts so I can put me grinders back into the shop. I paid a pound a packet for them. Very good price indeed. I found a nice tool holder at the car boot sale this morning and I've actually got a packet of tips that fits it which is better again. The tool holder is slightly too big to fit into my tool post holders so what I'll do I'll machine it down so it will go in just short of 900 so basically I want 200 thou taken off the top of that just so it goes into that holder that's still gonna be plenty plenty stiff enough anyway we'll get it mounted in the basin Get a cutter in and see how hard it actually is. But I think it'll be fairly hard. What I'll do, I'll use a carbide cutter and try and cut it dry. That's taking it down quite nice. I've got a really sharp edge on there. What I'll do, I'll put a, a chamfer tool in there and just take those two edges off. And that hasn't marked that cutter, but it is a solid carbide cutter. I'm going to slow it down a little bit. And all I want to do is take that sharp edge off.
in opposite directions on each side just to avoid climbing with them, that's all. Right, I've got the I've got the cutter set up on center height. That's the way I like it to happen. We don't end up with a layer covered with long stringy bastards. I'll try it with a nice fine feed, see what sort of finish it'll put on. Put a light coat on. It's going to be a handy tool, which like I say, I have got a back of the tip for it. The same tool can be used for, used for pacing as well. I managed to get the two new bearings for the rotating centre I took apart the other week. They're proper SKF bearings but they were quite expensive. I've cleaned this up and I'll give it a bit of polish with a bit of emery tape. The bearings are quite slack on there so what I'm going to do, I'll wash it with a bit of solvent and glue the bearings on with a little bit of Loctite. Doesn't take much. The bearings are the same both sides. And so they're going to there, and the bearings simply drop into there. And the cap screws on, lock and ring screws onto that. Putting the vase and tighten that up. I don't know if the centre has been modified with that tip. Of, you know, if somebody's done it or it was made like that, that's definitely magnetic, and that's not. I think that's a carbide tip that's been braised into there. That feels nice. A lot better than it did. There's, there's certainly no, no tight bits in it. I mean, I have another centre that's a lot more precision than this one, but this is a nice, strong, robust, robust affair. I don't think it's done very much work. It's, uh, I did clean it up, but there's no horrible gouges or. Certainly worth spending the money on the two bearings for it. Try this new centre. It's got the bolt in the end, simply so it pushes itself out of the tail stock when you wind the tail stock fully in.
it's in true anyway, the, the board look what the centre is. This end's fourth hole smaller than that end, so it's cutting the tape off. What it means is the tail stock's got to go slightly away from us. It's all adjustable, so what I'll do, I'll get a, I'll use a bit of threaded balls and washers on to set it up. I'll make a video showing how to set up the tail stock on the lathe so, you, so it turns parallel. It's a full four thou over that distance, which is probably twelve inches. Anyway, thanks once again for watching. Thanks for clicking the like button, and as usual, a special thanks for all the well wishes that have come in from all over the world towards my wife Debs, it's absolutely fantastic, um, she does sit and read the comments, I'd rather make her cry, she sits and reads them, once again, thanks very much. <laughs>